At 10.45 on the morning of November 20th, 1995, on an ice rink in Lake Placid, New York, something happened that should not have. Sergei Grinkov, two-time Olympic gold medalist, Russian national hero, husband, father, son, and friend. Died of a heart attack at the age of 28. But this program is not about that. Tonight, friends of Sergei Grinkov have gathered for a celebration, and we invite you to join them. Olympic gold medalist, Oksana Bayul. Olympic silver medalist, Yelena Bechki and Denis Petrov. Olympic gold medalist, Brian Boitano. World champion, Kurt Browning. Olympic gold medalist, Scott Hamilton. Olympic gold medalist, Viktor Petrenko. Olympic silver medalist, Rosalind Sumners. Olympic gold medalist, Katarina Witt. Olympic silver medalist, Paul Wiley. Olympic gold medalist, Christy Yamaguchi. CBS Sports is proud to welcome you and to be a part of Sergei Grinkov, Celebration of a Life. Welcome everyone to Sergei's Night. We're all remember him as a great man, perfect skater. He was wonderful husband and dad. All his friends here tonight to celebrate his life. He loved the life and brought so much for skating life. We all love him and miss him very much. And I hope his smile and good memories about him will always be in your hearts. It's been said they were so perfect, even their hearts beat in unison. They were children when they met, paired by the Soviet system when she was 11 and he was 15. Six years later, they won Olympic gold. A year after that, they began dating. They married in 1991. They became parents in 1992, won another Olympic gold medal in 1994, and no picture was so perfect as theirs. Until that day last November when the life she knew ended, and this new one she never expected began.
Good evening, everybody. I'm Vern Lundquist. Tonight, a rare portrait of an artist. You'll hear from some of the many people who love Sergei Grinkov. They'll speak to you with their skates as well as their voices and always with their hearts. And I'm Tracy Wilson. We're in Hartford, Connecticut, just a few miles from what had come to be home for Katya Gordieva and Sergei Grinkov in the suburb of Simsbury. Later tonight, you're invited to come inside that home with us to share some of Katya's memories and her dreams. And we will all share with you a moment none of us ever thought we would see. In attendance tonight are Sergei's mother, Katya's mother and father, and Sergei and Katya's daughter, Daria. Tonight, we will all see Katya skate her solo tribute to Sergei, the first time she has ever skated alone in public. So join us for Sergei Grinkov. Sergei was gone, I started having thoughts about him. And one of the simple thoughts I had was the fact that I was never gonna get to find out what he was laughing at in the dressing room in Russian. And he didn't seem like he should have such a, a great sense of humor. He was such a big, solid, sturdy guy. But he did. He was laughing all the time. And his English was getting so good. This year, I would have found out what made Sergei laugh. And um, he wasn't a very wild, funky guy, but I think he liked to watch the funky numbers. So I'm doing Brick House tonight, and I hope he likes it. Hope he laughs.
There are Katya's parents and her daughter Daria. Hi, my name's Fedor Andreev. I'm 13 years old. I am Marina Zuiva's son, who is the coach of Sergey and Katya. I was born same year as Katya and Sergey started skating together. I've been Sergey's friend ever since. watch Katy and Sergey skate for hours at a time. And once Sergey told me some things about life and skating which still help me today. Always take yourself to the limit. If you want to reach a good result, never try to save your energy in warm up. If you've started something, always try to excel at it or don't even start at all. And don't whine before practice because the practice just isn't going to get any shorter. 13 year old Fedor Andreev. He competed in the Novice Division in this year's Canadian Nationals, and this is his short program. There's the door. Sergey and Katya forever. We knew him as a good friend, as a very caring and loving and always smiling, happy person. We used to compete against each other. We used to share good and bad moments in our lives. And tonight's performance, we dedicate to Sergey. And this piece of music is about man and woman, about man who loved his woman very much, but who left her.
This song is about hope. And when you're going through some tough things in life, the one thing that will pull you through is that you are loved. And that's what we're all here tonight to do, is show our love for Katya. Don't be so hard on yourself Those tears are for someone else I hear your voice on the phone I hear you feel so alone
you looked at them out there, of course you looked at them as a couple, and most of the time you would look you would look at her because he had just such a wonderful way to present her and admit it, he was a very strong, good-looking man. And together, they created that magic. Victor Petrenko was a child when he first said hello to Sergei Grinkov. At age 26, he told his friend goodbye. I've met Sergei Grinkov since I was 12 years old. Since that time, we became a good friends. And as the good friend, he was an honest man kind man, and if you're in trouble, he was the first one who's gonna help you out. And I miss him really much. For tonight's show, Katya asked me to skate to Brian Adams' song, because Sergei li liked that number, and I'm doing it for you, Sergei. Here every thought 
Katya Gordieva alone is to know there is something terribly wrong. <laughs> Everything was so natural for us, you know. It's not possible to describe. It's just it just was so natural. I think it's why it's so, it was so pure. We never thought about that, what would people would think of us. You know, I'm even, when I look around myself, you know, I'm just start to open my eye, my eyes on the whole world around me because I never really paid attention on anything else because I had my Sergei. Quite tiny uh, when he was young. He was small. He was really tiny. Even when he started to skate with me, everyone was saying that he's too tiny and he's too um, too small, not strong enough. But coach knew that it's take time and he will be okay. After Olympics 88, we started to get more closer, spend more time together, was more interesting to be with each other more and more, see each other. We feel like we need to see each other more and more. And um, it was really a surprise for me that he's paying attention to me because I always thought that I'm just a little girl, you know, who's, he, he shouldn't be, he, sh he should have, shouldn't be at uh, pay attention on me so much. And when I start to feel like I'm in his view, <laughs> so, uh, uh, it was very exciting and bothering me. And you know, start to understand that um, it's much more than just a friend. It was taking a, lo a long period of time for us to to get to realize that we are parents and we uh, have to take care not only of each other but also <laughs> of Daria. <laughs> A Katerina Gordieva, 24 years old and raising her daughter on her own. Tonight she skates a tribute to her Sergei, 
It's her way of saying goodbye for herself and for Daria. very much <laughs> and miss him very much and uh, I will take care of Daria <laughs> she'll be a very happy girl the happiest ever <laughs> And never forget, Sergey. Uh, uh, and this year's, I think, was the the best years in my life. And anything I will will do in in my future, I don't think I will I will get so. will get so much happiness that I did with Sergey. I just don't think it really possible because really I don't know. I'm disappointed with life now. Hard hard to be happy. I hope I hope people will find time to really appreciate these little minutes with each other that they can just smile to each other and say that they love each other just just one extra time just one extra word it's, it's so important very important
Yelena Gordieva, Katya's mother. Anna Grinkova, Sergei's mother. Really skated alone. It's hard to picture Daria without Katya and Sergei. It's hard to picture Katya without Sergei and Daria. It's hard to picture any one of the three without the other. They were so uh, integral to one another and they were so connected. I mean, here they were out, out here, you know, doing obviously what they love to do and, and, you know, it's a lot of pressure every night to perform. And yet, that wasn't really truly the most important thing. You knew that this little blonde thing running around the side of the ice was the most important thing to him at every moment. Well, Sergei was the kind of father that um, you don't want to meet as a 19-year-old boy coming to the house to date his daughter. And um, that's something that we all were looking forward to seeing someday when uh, some young man comes to take Dash out for a movie and maybe never comes back. <sighs> he would have been a great father. is Rosalind Sumner's. The singer is Jordan Hill. Every now and then we find a special friend who never lets us down.
dear friend Jordan Hill. Okay, uh, good evening, uh, America, and welcome aboard Apollo 13. They were neighbors in America 
where he had become part of the family she had lost. And he's always be in my heart forever, you know, like my garden angel, you know. I have so many because so many people die in my life and I don't know why. And I don't know why God takes good people, you know. Because first thing what I said when he was dying, I said, why people take good people? people from ours, you know. He's such a great skater. He's the best in the world, you know. G and G, you know. <laughs> and I don't know, answer for that. It's just the life, you know. Still to come, a final performance. Upside down, upside down. Touched by an angel after Dr. Quinn on CBS Saturday. Sergei Grinkov, 
celebration of a life. We'll continue with a smile from Scott Hamill. The feeling for tonight will be sadness that Sergei isn't with us physically. The one thing that jumps out in my mind with our friendship has always been the laughter. My goal every day in some way the entire tour was to make Sergei laugh at least once. And that was a goal I took very seriously. <laughs> Whether he was just sitting in a corner reading a book, minding his own business, and I'd stare at him until he'd look up from his book and say, what? <laughs> or whether it was my lame attempts at Russian and, and his very strong attempts at English. He didn't like to speak English, but he understood it perfectly. And our communication was flawless. We laughed every single day. I guess that's the reason I'm picking this particular program to do tonight. It's meant to be fun, and it's meant to celebrate different times in your life. The time I had with Sergei was flawless. This one's for you, Sergey.
Each pair is recreating a pose from a Gordieva and Grinkov performance.
I think we've seen so much tonight. I think we need to hear a few words from our beautiful host, Ekaterina Gordieva.